Some tense moments at Governor Charlie Baker's press conference today. He announced a redevelopment plan for the old Boston State Hospital site and gave an update on the coronavirus. And when he started taking questions, a gentleman in the crowd scolded the governor for refusing to meet with him and other black constituents several months ago. I'm really feeling bad. Mm -hmm. I'm really feeling you bad. Too, because you mean to tell me from April to now you didn't have 15 minutes to meet with us? Mm -hmm. I really feel bothered by that and insulted, to be honest with you. Yep. And you come in the community doing ribbon cutting, mm -hmm. but you didn't want me, uh, and uh, you have been here before. The governor told the man he didn't know about the request and would set up the meeting. Our Christina Hager spoke with that man after the news conference ended. He explained why he showed up today. We have not been able to meet with the governor. We have sent him a letter to meet with him since April. And we have, so when we heard that he was going to be here, excuse me, when we heard that he was going to be here, we had to take the necessary steps to be here. Because if we, if we don't meet with him now, we probably never get a chance to meet with him. A few minutes after that exchange, Governor Baker was pressed on his plans to give bonuses to police officers to complete de-escalation training, which led to more tense moments and questions. Governor Baker's plan to award police bonuses for de-escalation and anti-bias training was also in the forefront of demonstrators' minds at the State House yesterday. They marched to the State House from Roxbury, calling for police funding to be cut and put back into social services.